let us compare some ecosystems. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to compare two games from Genius Games. Uh, they are Ecosystem and we have Ecosystem Coral Reef. Now these two games are basically playing uh, the same. I mean almost the same. The rules are a little bit different. We're going to talk a little bit more about it but these are more on the easiest side of Genius Games. Usually they make games about periodic tables, about crossbreeding of peas and whatnot, uh, uh, you'll see reviews some of those games, some of them I already did review on this channel, but in the meantime, we're going to check out some of their lighter games, games that are really understandable like little kids, and uh, then we'll talk some more about it. But first, let's get down to the table and let's compare these two. Okay, uh, let me show you Ecosystem and Ecosystem Coral Reef, how are they different or how are they the same? So first, we're gonna check out the ecosystem. Of course, you get a rule book, and as I said, this is really easy game to teach, really easy game to learn. Definitely, you can play it with the younger audience if you want to. And of course, each of you will get one of these sheets uh, that uh, just explains you all the cards and how they score points, uh, which is absolutely awesome. And each and every player get, gets its own. So you don't have to like share or anything. You can just take it, watch it as you wait for your turn or something like that. Of course, you get a score sheet so you can score your points that way. And you get a bunch of different cards. Of course, they are repeating themselves because you are trying to collect sets after all. So let me just try to take them all out in just a second. So get all of these cards and uh, you will be playing two rounds and you will be dealt 10 cards uh, each time and you will go then one one turn you will go on the left and then another one you will go on the right. You will just pick one the card, pass the rest and that's how you're going to go throughout the turns until you have played 20 cards on the table then the game is over. And uh, as, I said, as I mentioned the game is played in a 5 times 4 grid of cards and you will put these bears uh, and these eagles and rabbits and salmons and, and these uh, like ponds and rivers and meadows there's also bees you will put those on in your board and they will depend some of them will depend depend where they are placed they will score your points or they will not or you can do different things with the rabbits you can switch some cards stuff like that but yeah Basically, that's all. That's everything you get in this game. Like uh, lots of cards, and you are trying to do the best you can with the adjacency rule and everything. And once you have done uh, your play of ecosystem, you can play ecosystem coral reef. And let me show you that one just for a second now. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up later. Then we have ecosystem coral reef. Again, you get the rule book as usual, the same rules apply, there's a grid that is 5 times 4 that you need to play on, and uh, but in this case, uh, the rules are a little bit more complex, so each of the players will again, of course, get one of these sheets, so you can check out uh, how you can score the best in each round, and as you can see, uh, by the score sheet alone, you can see how more elaborate it is to play the coral reef there's like a more rules there's like different types of uh, animals you want to collect and animals by themselves you want to collect different animals by themselves so as you can see you get points for all kinds of different things and then the, you score everything and you are the winner and basically of course you are playing these uh, since it's called coral reef you are playing it underneath the sea and there's these new symbols that you need to take care of uh, when you're playing the game so there's planktons like uh, clownfishes and uh, octopuses there's even a whale and crabs and uh, i forgot what's the english word name for this <laughs> fish and of course there's the great white that will eat some of your cards and the whale will also e e destroy some of your cards like shrimps planktons as i mentioned already and uh, basically an ocean life and you will of course play the same exact way you will take one card put it in your tableau pass the rest to the next player on the first 10 cards you will pass on the left or the right depends however you want to choose 
and on the second round you will pass to the other side that you didn't and that is that you are done once you played both games you are done with them so yeah that's basically how they look together now let's talk a little bit more about it okay so that was ecosystem and ecosystem coral reef and as i said these are pretty simple games all you need to do uh, when it's your turn is take one card put it in your tableau and pass the rest to the player on the left or the player on your right and that is that you will do that for 20 times and once you are done with it you will have a tableau of cards that is five times four and you will score those cards and whoever has the most points is the winner now the scoring is where the beauty of these games comes to shine now all of these cards score very differently differently they all have different requirements some of them require not uh, some animals not be adjacent to them or they need to be adjacent to them to score more points stuff like that you will have rivers you, of course you need to put fish uh, near to river because that's where the fish lives in a river and uh, uh, basically all of that is translated also to the coral leaf but just underneath the sea and uh, if I would have to uh, like uh, say what the differences are like the huge differences it's the complexity level now let me be clear both of these games are super simple to play very easy to play you can almost play it with anybody but have in mind that coral reef is a little bit more up in the complexity so in the regular ecosystem is fine but if you want to like some more challenging gameplay uh, there's the color color coral reef oh my god i'm having trouble pronouncing that coral reef is uh, a little bit more complex now uh, there's even cards that can hurt you a little bit so i maybe not i will i would recommend you to not play it maybe with little kids even though both games can easily be played with little kids you get all you get the, this cheat sheet that explains you all the rules of the card so you know you can understand when you receive the card okay so this card does this okay that's fine i, I mean i i presume they are able to read of course and but it's really not that hard to like uh, remember after a few games what card does what but in a coral reef as i said there are some cards that will give you negative points there are some cards that will destroy your other cards and i know that kids usually don't like when they're hand of cards tableau of their cards get destroyed at least i presume it's like that i play this only with adults but i can easily see it played with younger kids and uh, having a blast having a fun making your ecosystem making your stuff work but overall yeah it's a drafting game with the tableau building super simple cards depend on each other how they score and that is that you are trying to make the best you can with the hands you are dealt with and uh, with the cards that are circling around i mean you after the well if you're playing for example a four player game like i did after all the cards have went one round you can basically feel what the what the cards are in the deck so you know you want to go for the wolves so you don't want to go for the wolves because you only saw one so far stuff like that so as i said both really awesome game i love them very much but if you are looking for something to play with the kids uh, maybe take the regular ecosystem and if you don't mind a little bit of take that a little bit of card destroying and stuff then check out the coral reef equally great game with a little bit more complex abilities but still pretty simple game so yeah that is that that's all i have to say about these two really really great games i enjoy them so much i hope i will enjoy them even more and uh, the beauty of this of, of the game is it goes up to six players and it's playing simultaneously so you know there's no not like uh, entire round like oh my god when will be my turn waiting for it you know stuff like that you will just everybody's picking the card passing the cards playing the card then again and again and again and again the game goes super fast no matter the number of players uh one thing I, I i was hoping for when i got these two games is you can interlock them like uh, uh, so exchange some decks uh, some cards with some other cards and maybe have like a mashup of different cards to play like a unique game of ecosystem unfortunately that is not available yet maybe there are some custom rules for it i can think of it how it maybe might how it might work but still they are not compatible in that way so do know if you get this one or if you get this one you can't match them together you can either play this or this 
So yeah, that is that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you still haven't checked out my Patreon, because if you support me over there, it will greatly help me to improve the quality of this channel, which I'm constantly doing and uh, giveaways, uh, better equipment, better lights. I hate these lights. I mean, they're good, but I need better lights. So <laughs> yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you for considering subscribing, supporting me on Patreon, all that. I really do appreciate all of it. And uh, until next time, pozdrav. And uh, they are well known for making a little bit more elaborated, uh, I would not say hard games, but the games that have more, like... Oh. We are going to complare, complare. We are going to complare, complare. My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk <laughs> cards will let you say like there's his doesn't there's no nah, nah, nah. and I still have to go from the top <sighs> was coral reef and uh, coral reef no that was ecosystem and ecosystem coral reef